We all know that there's a problem. At the same time, the solution is clear. We need to collect and prevent this plastic before it gets into the water. Often we're waiting for enormous investment. We think that big government or big corporates are going to solve this problem maybe in 2030, maybe in 10 years from now. If we can create more infrastructure where it's needed, if we can support the coastal communities that are most at risk, we can bring this plastic back into high quality recycling and we can really reach scale, we can reach impact. In order to collect and prevent plastic from going into the ocean, especially at scale, what we need is demand. No top 10 brand out there historically has been using more than 10% recycled plastic. Now why is it they don't use more recycled plastic? It's because as consumers we don't go out and choose recycled plastic when we shop. So we all have a role. If you're a thought leader, push an infrastructure argument, push a structural argument, create demand. If you're a consumer, go out when you shop and create demand. And if you're in business, you need to make a better choice and bring recycled materials into your supply chain. Support these coastal communities. There's a lot that we can do, especially collectively, especially together, but we need demand. When we talk about a circular economy, we talk about using the plastic that's already in the environment to create the products that society needs. With Prevented Ocean Plastic, our goal is to create a repeatable and transportable model that can be brought anywhere in the world where plastic waste flowing into the oceans is a problem. There's a number of ways for people to get involved in Prevented Ocean Plastic. We think it's the best way to stop plastic waste from polluting our oceans. We are the biggest PET recycling industry in Indonesia. We are recycling more than 3,000 tons of PET bottles per month and hired more than 1,000 people working with us now. In remote areas, people need jobs. And by we opening a collection center there, we certainly can create jobs. Setiap hari, kami memungut sampah di seputar banyar kami di Kesiman menggunakan truk dan tenaga kerja kurang lebih empat orang. Dampak nyatanya adalah sungai menjadi lebih bersih, lingkungan lebih bersih, dan orang-orang di sekitar sadar tentang bahaya sampah, bagaimana sampah itu bisa kita jadikan uang. So we receive bottles from uh, first collectors. We are focused on first collectors because this is the guys who we need to support. And then we sort, we press, and we create uh, material uh, with the specs that the manufacturers around the world they, they can use. My responsibility is quality. Quality is very important for us. We focus on the supply to our customers with best quality and best material, best recycled material. What's so important is to have this financial support. Uh, by the amount of the financial support that we have, we certainly can create more jobs, more collection centers, and increase the collection rate on the plastic waste. Saya sangat senang bekerja dengan prevented ocean plastic karena ini adalah bentuk dari tindakan nyata. We are creating jobs. We are bringing second income to the families, and also we are helping to clean Bali. So uh, the social aspect of the program is, is is so important for us. I'm really proud to be part of this. I'm proud to be part of the of the Parental Ocean Plastic Program. I'm Claire, the Sustainability Lead at the Prevented Ocean Plastic Research Centre in London. Here in Bali, we are working with our suppliers and first collectors to make sure that social and ethical responsibility is a top priority in our program. Women's Empowerment in the Prevented Ocean Plastic Programme supports first collectors and their communities, including women in management positions throughout the supply chain. 
Being here in Bali and seeing the operations, working with our partners and being part of the supply chain really has inspired me to further my work, but also because of my love for nature and the natural environment, be sure to keep this world in the better place for the next generation. The prevented ocean plastic supply chain is best in class. It comes with traceability, it comes in with methodology for ethical social responsibility. It's been pre-vetted and it's ready to grow. What you see behind me are bales, pressed bottles, 10,000 bottles. In the prevented ocean plastic supply chain, you always know that the material is of great quality, you know where it's from, you know where it's going to, and you know you have something that you can support into new products and for ocean plastic prevention. We're determined to lead the transformation of the recycled materials industry. We're calling on thought leaders, business leaders, consumers, choose recycled. With collective action, we can do better. We need to make sure that we support the best global recyclers and we have them working together. <laughs>